Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Graham Braun of South Lion Boys Basketball. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I know it has been it's been an interesting year for you guys. Um, you know, you getting hurt and everybody almost getting hurt. And um, what has this season been like for you guys? Yeah, it's really been a roller coaster season. We don't like to make excuses, but we had a lot of injuries and we really have hit our stride since the new year. And it's really since January 1st, we've been back and we are on a really good like six game stretch now. So, yeah, I mean, of course, you were also one of them that, you know, that got hurt. What was what was that like? Just, you know, not being not playing, you know, what was what was that like for you? Uh, it was really hard to not be able to play the game I love. And I just had to work on other things like leadership, getting my teammates better, getting in the weight room, and just everything I could do for that month I was out. And the month felt like it was forever. So, yeah. I mean, how do you get, you know, I mean, obviously you got to, you know, be there. And obviously everyone be there. But inside of you, what was, you know, did it, what was it? What was it just like just not to, you know, not to, not to, you know, not to do anything. And how was rehab and all that? Um, It was hard not being able to help. Like when you're on the bench, like you're cheating your team at time, but you wish you could be out there playing with them and helping them out. And rehab was good. It went about as good as it could have been. It was supposed to be a four to six week injury. And I was back in three weeks and six days, actually. So I beat it by a day. So I was happy about that. Yeah. But to, to be back and to be to be your kind of your old self again, what was uh, what has it been like uh, being back uh, since uh, the, since the calendar turned? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've built built up team chemistry a lot, and we're just playing a lot better basketball. Yeah, you know, the, yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, you guys have really uh, you guys are on a really good stretch right now since since uh, the year your start of course uh, you got a couple win you know got got a couple big wins uh you know beat east beat lakeland uh two wins against western the overtime win against milford um you know this team is really kind of you know hitting its stride um you know especially after you know after as you mentioned all the injuries that you guys have had you know this uh, this month what what has been probably the biggest game that you guys like the most complete game that you guys have put together um, when I look at four quarters that we've played, like our best in those four quarters, it's definitely Milford. Like, and it was even five quarters because we had to take them to overtime. But uh, that just was a really complete game. We played good the whole time. It was like a one point game at halftime, and it was just a really good battle. Should have had them in regulation until they had a crazy three, miracle three. Yeah. It's overtime. Yeah. But to to beat a team like that, and you know, I I you know I I don't know how long it's, um, yeah. But what has it? What was it like to to beat you know a really really good team like Milford? Uh, it felt really good because we haven't seen like our ability to beat a top team in the conference. We've won games we should have won. We've even lost a couple games we should have won, and we haven't had that ability to like break the ice and beat a team that's in the top of the conference. So I think it really helped our morale and really boosted us to beat a team that's top three in the conference. What what did being out teach you? Um, it helps me leadership wise and it helps me just like working on my teammates, getting my teammates better, not just myself. Cause I really like, I realized that while I was out, other people had to step up and I had to like make sure my teammates knew where to be and what to do at the right time. Yeah. So I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, you know, we're entering in, I mean, uh, time of recording, we are now officially in the month of February. We got through the month of the month of January through, you know, there are a lot of, craziness postponements um a lot of uh, a lot of weather across uh, southeast michigan but what was what was it like to just kind of you know get through the month of january and really um you got some uh you got some really good teams coming up uh it was a good month for us i mean the month of january was a tough schedule for us we had to go play at east we had to play the top three teams in the conference all the month of january so you think about that, that's four really tough games right there. And every game in the LVC is always really tough. So we are really happy with the month we had. Yeah. Okay, so this, uh, you got, of course, you know, only a couple more games left. You got uh, at Kettering, of course, um, and then to, and then 
most of the games in the in these last five outside of the uh outside of this one and of course the last game of the year are at home so what's what's that going to be like to play in front of play in front of the home crowd in the jungle what's that what 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 is that like to just you know to get a lot of games at home later on uh it's huge for us we love playing in front of uh our fans and our peers and especially like that milford overtime game that was huge for us the atmosphere in that building was amazing so we really feed off the crowd yeah um what what have you when you got back what was it um it was it just like you just picked up right where you left off and stuff or did you have does it did it take some use to getting uh back into game form again um it took a little bit get, getting used to game form but i was also like i got my was practicing my shot as soon as I could. And as soon as these limitations were lifted, I was getting right back into the groove of it. So I was into it pretty quickly. Yeah, for sure. And of course, uh, of course, Friday against Waterford Kettering, what do you feel like you guys need to do to kind of continue the momentum that you guys are on right now? I think we just need to keep playing our brand of basketball, keep playing how we are, because we've been playing really good this last stretch of this last month. All right. All right, Graham. Thanks so much for the time. As always, um, we will uh, talk to you soon. Of course. Thanks for having me.